it's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecareathome.com, where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies at home, and where we also provide tailor-made solutions for hospitals and intensive care units at home, whilst providing quality care for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies at home, otherwise medically complex clients, adults and children at home, which includes home BiPAP, home CPAP, home tracheostomy care for adults and children that are not ventilated, home TPN, home IV potassium infusions, home IV magnesium infusions and IV antibiotics. We also provide port management, central line management, peak line management, as well as Hickman's line management at home. And we also provide palliative care. We also have sent our critical care nurses into the home for the Western Sydney local area health district for emergency but department bypass services for the in touch program there so today i have an email from nick who says hi patrick i have a ventilator and tracheostomy that i use around the clock i have been in a nursing home for two years trying to get back home to be with my family i'm 36 i have a sound mind and even a degree so i'm aware of everything i have duchenne muscular dystrophy I always lived at home until I was 34 and now I'm two hours away from any family. I really want to change that and get my life back on track. I used to work from home and contribute to society and I know going home would save a lot of money. I have tried many avenues and talked to many agencies and programs but keep hitting a roadblock. Roadblock every time I get my hopes up, I get denied or told another lie. I've been on waiting lists for months and after that I get told the program I apply to cannot help me even though I tell them all my conditions and medical necessities up front. They contact me later saying I need more help than the program can provide. A ventilator and tracheostomy should not be a life sentence to be served in a nursing home. We have landed on the moon. For goodness sakes, surely there is a solution in the year 2024. I just know there is can intensive care at home help. Please contact me if you receive this message. I truly hope to get some good news from Nick. Well, Nick, I am very sorry to hear about your situation. And it sounds to me like, even though you're not specifically mentioning that in your email, it sounds to me like you have received the ventilator and the tracheostomy. You were in a hospital. No one could take you home. That's how you ended up in a nursing home. It's probably a very bad place i'm surprised a nursing home is happy to look after you but it sounds like you're in a very negative situation here and of course whoever you spoke to the state programs and agencies you spoke to they don't want to know about your situation because it is a very unique and specialized skill to take someone home on a ventilator with a trach or a tracheostomy that is a very unique and special skill that very few, if any, services have. But you have come to the right place here at intensivecareathome.com because that's pretty much all we do. We are highly specialized on looking after adults and children at home on ventilation with tracheostomy, right? So you have come to the right place. And I would really like to have a conversation with you next because there are avenues of taking you home. You know, um, it is not really a matter of funding in this situation. Someone is paying for your nursing home stay anyway. It is a matter of, you know, the right service for you and for your situation. And I believe we are exactly that service because we are looking after many clients at home in very similar situations, uh, Nick. So what should you be doing? You should be, we should be getting on a call or on a, on a video call as a next step, you know, and we should be talking about funding, you know, I'm not sure of your location, right? With intensive care at home at the moment, we are operating all around Australia in all major capital cities, as well as in regional and rural areas. We are an NDIS approved service provider, TAC in Victoria, WorkSafe in Victoria, iCare in New South Wales, NIISQ in Queensland, um, and we're also a DBA, Department of Veteran Affairs approved service provider all around the country. So, you know, if you qualify for any of those insurances, we can help you. But for example, if you don't qualify for any of these, you 
might have private health insurance and then private health insurance uh, will probably pay for your intensive care at home, right? So there's definitely options for you, right? And I just think it's not a funding issue. It's a case of the right service provider. We are the only service in 2024 in Australia that has achieved third-party accreditation for intensive care at home nursing. There's no other service in Australia that has achieved that level of accreditation, right? So you're coming to a quality service. Now, and we're all, all to our services are evidence-based. Have a look at the mechanical home ventilation guidelines on our website at intensivecarethome.com. You will see that our services are evidence-based and accredited. Now, we're also providing level two and level three NDIS support coordination, which is critical for most NDIS participants and would be critical in your situation, Nick, as well. I do believe that with what you shared in your email that you do qualify for the NDIS. And if you are at home already, maybe in a similar situation and you don't have enough support or you're stuck in a nursing home or stuck in an ICU and you need the help for your family member or for yourself, if, you know, if you're at home, or you're going back to hospital all the time, you have an instability on your roster, you know, you have people not showing up, I encourage you to reach out to us. And... Um, and you can contact us again at intensivecarethome.com, call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website, or send an email to info at intensivecarethome.com. If you are an NDI support coordinator watching this and you're looking for nursing care for your participants, please reach out to us as well. If you're looking for funding for more nursing care, I also encourage you to reach out to us. We can help you with the advocacy and we also provide specialist NDIS nursing assessments. If you are a critical care nurse and you're looking for a career change, we are currently offering jobs for critical care nurses in the home in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, in Albury, Wodonga, Bendigo, Victoria, as well as in Warrigal, Victoria. If you have worked in critical care for a minimum of two years, ICU, pediatric ICU, ED, and you have ideally completed a postgraduate critical care qualification, we want to hear from you. We are offering a tailor-made solutions to our clients, which includes regular staff. Our clients want to have the same stuff coming over and over again because they are so vulnerable and it's all about building those crucial relationships and having regular and stable teams. So if you're looking for agency work where you can come and go, this may not be the right fit for you. But if you are interested in a long-term engagement with us and long-term engagement with our clients and building those crucial relationships, then this is a win-win situation for everyone. And if you are an intensive care specialist or ED specialist, we also want to hear from you. We are currently expanding our medical team once again. Um, and if you are a medical, if you are an intensive care specialist, ICU consultant or ED consultant, and you have bed blocks in your ICU or ED, we want to hear from you because we can help you take the pressure off your ICU and ED beds. In most cases, you won't even pay for it. And if you're a hospital executive, Watching this, you may also be interested in taking the pressure off your ICU and your ED. So please reach out to us. Lastly, if you're in the US or in the UK and you're watching this, we want to hear from you as well. We can help you there privately. Once again, all of that you get at intensivecarethome.com. Call us on one of the number on one of the numbers on the top of our website or send us an email to info at intensivecarethome.com. And if you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for intensive care at home and for families in intensive care. Click the like button, click the notification bell, share the video with, with your friends and families and comment below what you want to see next, what questions and insights you have. I also do a weekly YouTube live where I answer your questions live on a show and you will get notification for the YouTube live if you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel or if you are a subscriber to our email newsletter at intensivecarethome.com. Thank you so much for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarethome.com and I will talk to you in a few days. Take care for now.